Hey guys, John Conley here from UncleJohnSoap.com. Look at that, two days in a row. I'm uh, setting some kind of record here, I gotta be. We're back to do a video, and we're gonna announce the winner of our log of soap in just a second here. Uh, today I wanted to talk about scents. You know, everybody asks online all the time, you know, what are the most popular scents? What are the most popular scents? Other than one, there really is no like most popular scent for us. Um, that one for us is uh, pipe smoke. Go back like this, maybe. It's a nice, I don't know why I'm smelling on video, but anyway, it's a nice, um, it's like a fresh pipe tobacco with cherry and vanilla, but it's it's very mild. Uh, it's it's masculine, but honestly, we sell more of this in the bath soap to women than guys, and I don't know if it's a memory thing or what. Uh, just because it smells a little sweet, but you know, for you guys, it's going to be it's going to be regional. You know, sometimes it's regional, sometimes it's weather based, sometimes it's just your style. You know, are you in an area where people like pretty much nothing but woodsy scents? So it's going to vary. But I figured I'd show you guys like our top six scents as of right now. I mean, it fluctuates, but right now this is pretty much our top six, and it covers a pretty wide range of customers. Good old standby, man. Gotta love this. Honey and oats. We don't scent this. You know, most honey and oats stuff you get is going to have some kind of fragrance to it that sort of sweetens it up. Ours, when you use this, it smells like uh, old-fashioned Cheerios. Sort of that oat smell. And sometimes you get a little touch of the honey. Um, but, that, but that's about it. It's meant to be gentle and cleansing without stripping too many of the oils off and being drying. That's a really popular one, summer and winter. Cedar Lodge. For all the for all the guys that either are in the woods all the time and want to keep being reminded of it, or they don't get out often enough and they want that scent, uh, that is uh, cedar and pine. Love that one, especially in the colder weather for me. Uh, coconut, coconut. This is a very sweet, um, like almost like a shredded coconut kind of scent. Uh, maybe a little more towards the coconut drink type scent, but it's it's right there in between. Nice balance. And uh, again, people like to buy it year round because in the summer it just seems like it goes with their sunscreens and all that kind of stuff. In the winter, it helps remind them that, you know, they're looking forward to next summer. So they kind of keep that scent going. And of course, pipe smoke, like I already described, that's uh, that's definitely probably number one on our list really mint and eucalyptus so this is sweet peppermint with eucalyptus base um and so it has a little bit of that sharpness of the eucalyptus but using the sweet peppermint it's it's a little sweeter Duh. anyway it's just a really nice balance it's nice and fresh it's sort of clarifying for me you know i smell this it's relaxing some people go with lavender i go with this um, plus it'll help with your sinuses and things like that in the shower. It's just a nice all around scent. Uh, it's kind of cooling in the summer, but not so cooling that if you use it in the winter, it's going to feel weird when you go out in the cold weather. And then number six, lemongrass, good old lemongrass. You get that citrusy smell, um, but it also has like a greenness to it because, you know, lemongrass is a grass and, uh, you know, real citrus is really tough to do in soaps, so we don't even try in our bath soaps uh, for the most part. No orange, no uh, grapefruit, things like that. They, they just don't really survive the saponification process well enough for me anyway. So if you guys are thinking about ordering from us, whether it's just for you, for your family, or commercially, you know, wholesale and bulk orders to rewrap and sell for yourself, those are probably six of our number one, you know, our top six cents for right now. Um, again, it's going to fluctuate. And in your area, who knows? Um, you know, we've got Silk Road, which is sort of a frankincense based one. Um, we got rid of the frankincense in the name because it stopped selling as soon as we hit January 1. And uh, it's a psychological thing. People just associated it with Christmas. So it's, it's a very... It's frankincense along with other resins and uh, spices and things like that that makes a nice all-around spicy, warm scent. Great for cold weather, but again, I'll use it all year. I don't, I'm not that kind of guy that's going to be very seasonal specific, but for your customers, that's going to be a great cold weather one. So it could be regional. 
who knows? But just to give you an idea, and again, I talked about this in one of my earlier videos uh, about how we wrap our soaps. And uh, so if you want to watch that, I may try to put a link to that up here somewhere um, so that you guys can take a look at that, how we cut our paper. This is just regular colored printer style paper. It's not all called printer paper because some of it's so dark you can't print on, but uh, same grade of paper. We cut it into strips and that gets wrapped around this way and either taped and glued to itself, the tail. And then this is a uh, cardstock going around this way. And we use that. Um, we can print three of these labels per sheet of cardstock, cut it. It gets glued to the face of the colored strip, wrapped around and glued again back here. And what that does is it keeps everything centered. So if your bar shrinks up a little bit, it's not going to go anywhere. It's not all going to slide out and everything. And it still looks decent and you can see what it says. All right, guys. And by the way, if you just want to do the six bar deal, so you can kind of see, um, you can pick these six cents on the website. And right now we've got a deal going. It's a good price for six bars, but you also get one of these cool sisal or sisal. I call it sisal because I'm a troglodyte evidently. But anyway, one of these cool sisal soap pouches. You can slide the bar right in the pouch. It's like a built-in washcloth. Love these things. And then it cinches down. And you can hang it in the shower. It doesn't leave soap residue on the edge of your tub or anything like that. So yeah. So that is thrown in for now. We'll probably run this at least, I'm hoping, through the holidays here. Uh, where you get a free sisal soap pouch with a six bar deal. Alright. So now, yesterday we had a contest for, uh, not really much of a contest. You're basically entering a drawing. And we had quite a few people enter by sending us our, their email. And uh, the winner of that is Ed James from New Mexico. So Ed, I'm going to get you by email, get your scent and your address. I think you actually emailed me your address. And uh, we'll get that out to you in the next couple days here. Congratulations. And I thank you everybody for, uh, for participating, emailing, and all the great comments and compliments and the welcome backs and everything since it's been so long since I shot a video. Uh, keep me on task, guys. Don't be afraid to shoot me an email. Hey, where's the next video? I'll take it. I got big shoulders. All right, guys, that's it for today. If you got any questions, as always, you can email me at UncleJohnSoap at gmail.com. Uh, you can hit us up on the website through the contact form, or you can comment on the video down below. If you're brand new, do me a favor, subscribe, would you? That really helps our channel out. And click the bell icon so you, you don't miss any of our upcoming videos because I'm really going to do it this time. I'm going to stay on it. I promise.